yards faster than any of the Sri Lankan and he is getting just a bit of life from the wicket. Well, naturally, he's a fast bowler, he's got a new ball and he varies his pace and that is why he's so great bowler. But uh, Manama is a very fine player, he has got the technique. This one, a little bit quicker, but not as uh, bouncy as uh, before, but a uh, good bouncer. This he's going to bowl to Hishan Tilakarat. That one probably on the pad but missing the stumps and Wasim Akram once again appealing there. Umpire Mehboob Shah negatives the appeal. As I said earlier that anything playing on the front foot is very very difficult for the umpire to give LBW. This ball more or less spit on the off turn came back because it was a full toss straight to him. Wasim drops that short was an Amir Sohail there who collected that ball rather amused he's not facing it so he well can be Dilek Ratna is not I'm sure you see that ball going off his shoulder Amir Sohail collecting it in the slips that was a good ball much quicker of the pitch another appeal this time for a catch behind Ampar Mehbusha is amused I think Wasim Akram persistently appealing. Akram to Rana Tunga has appealed for LBW and he's out. Sanjeeva Rana Tunga goes and Sri Lanka have lost their fifth wicket at 132. He's out LBW to Wasim Akram for 33. Four fours in that 33 for Sanjeeva Rana Tunga. That ball swung a bit in the air. We'll have a look at the replay. I suspect it was probably just going down the leg side. That was a late swing ball from Vasim Makram and by the time hitting on the pad, it was still swinging. And probably could say that might be missing leg stump. But since his foot was on the leg stump and hit him direct as a full toss. Swing to Dunu Singh. Wraps him on the pad. There's an appeal for LBW and he's out. The sixth wicket gone. Wasim Akram strikes again for Pakistan. It is six for 134. Dunu Sunge out without troubling the scorers for a duck. Just faced two deliveries. A dejected Dunu Sunge walks back. This has been a good spell from Wasim Akram. And this ball just came back and the batsman played right back. And of course he was right in front and umpire gave him LBW. Pass. And he's bowled him. What a beauty. The next stump clean out of the ground and this is the first bowl of the match. Wasim Akram bowling Chamindawas. Well, that was excellent ball from Wasim Akram. That ball moved into the batsman and came back very late and Vas was trying to play on the back foot and there was a gap between bed and pad and gone through that and the millistum was out. So Sri Lanka is really in trouble and they have to show if they can save the follow on and I feel probably they will be struggling. Another view of the dismissal of Chamindawas comprehensively castled, the middle stump flat on the ground and walks back rather dejectedly. Look at it from another angle. Beautiful delivery. Just moved sufficiently in the air to beat the hesitant prod of Chaminda Vas, who I think first wanted to go in front and then go, went back, and that's where he landed himself in trouble. It's Wasim Akram to Vikrama Singh. No. no ball called. Wasim Akram overstepping, and Vikrama Singh there surviving because it was a no ball and. Uh, he took it on the pad. Well, I'm sure if there is was no ball, probably could, could be a good shout for LBW because he was right back. Seven down now for 143. Akram to Vikramasinghe. He's bowled him. And Sri Lanka has lost their eighth wicket. Pramadoya Vikramasinghe just out, bowled by Wasim Akram without scoring and now the follow on ominously looming over the Sri Lankans.
another fine delivery from Vasim Akram. That ball pitched a little like Tom and moved away. And the batsman tried to go back. His oxton was open and was able there. Very fine picture. Nice sight to watch. Akram to Murli Dharan. And Murli Dharan there is going to be out. Yes, caught by Saklan Mushtaq. That ball flying to the first gully and Murli Dharan there almost spooning that catch and Saklan Mushtaq bringing it off at the second attempt and Sri Lanka are 184 for 9 and this partnership has added 42 runs which is the highest partnership of the match. Murli Dharan has been playing away from his body and this ball was seen Makram bowling all around the wicket just pitching up to the batsman and naturally was playing away.